Hey, what's up, John? This is a quick demo video for you for your uh, custom corn horn. Uh, this is made by Nevin Varner over at Space Junk Savers. Um, just wrap this up, so I wanted to go over it with you. Okay, this is installed with a Profi B2. Um, it's a two button setup. So when you're holding it in your right hand, you, you got two switches right here, two brass tactile switches. When you're holding it in your right hand here like this, the uh, left side next to your thumb, that's gonna be your activation. And then the one over here, over by your knuckles on the right side will be your auxiliary. Um, this is installed with CC Sabres LED pixels in here. Uh, it takes a seven eighths inch uh, NeoPixel blade. I've got a small, uh, just a small demo one right here that we'll throw in in a second. And it has a crystal chamber, uh, which is really cool. So let's open this up. We open it from the handle. It is a little tight. Um, the crystal chamber in here is tight. And then how I put the chassis on, it's a little tight too, but just work your way through it. Uh, it's not hurting anything. The, everything is just a snug fit. That, that's the, uh, you know, that's the way of this particular hilt. So when this handle comes off right there, as you can see, this handle uh, screws onto here. I use every bit of space that I could right down to the, you know, back here where I've got your 28 millimeter base speaker. Um, I've got your profi board right here. So this is an extremely tight press fit down into this chassis. Um, so just realize if you're going to pop this up, it's going to take a little bit of doing, but I just took a pair of tweezers in one corner there and very carefully popped it up without hitting the SD card, was able to do what I need to do. And then I snapped it back in place. It's basically a snap fit. Um, I like to do that instead of glue, if I can get away with it. And then you have a removable battery system. So spring side here, that's always going to be a negative side of your battery. It does say space junk sabers over here on the chassis. Um, since he made the, uh, the hilt and then it says, uh, solo sabers for me over here in Arabesh. Um, then here's your crystal chamber. So with the crystal chamber and all the wires for your switches and your NeoPixel, I had to run, you know, right in the middle of this crystal chamber, come out of the chamber and then into this groove. So what I did was I covered as much as that of that wire as I could with a black piece of shrink tube. So you don't have a bunch of wires going past your crystal, but it couldn't be helped. Um, I had to come out that way. And that was the neatest way that I could, uh, uh, that I could think to do it. So that black shirt, there's a black piece of shrink tube, as you can see, starts right here and it ends right at the very tip of uh, the top of this crystal chamber and just kind of wraps around and comes into this divot that Nevin cut out for wires in the chamber. And then I made a little pocket in my chassis to run those wires up underneath the board. So, and then this uh, piece of shrink tube here is glued down right here. So it's not ever going to come out on you. And that's what you've got there. Nice little crystal, lights up really well. Um, I went ahead and sent Preston over at Syndicate Sound Fonts. Um, you know, I, I reimbursed him. I, I put four of his sound fonts on here. And uh, that's what I'm going to ship this guy with because I just want to... Um, I'm really digging those sound fonts lately, so I just want to demo the saver, um, you know, with those fonts. So let's put a battery in. Remember, spring sides are negative. My ally is the force. So now I put that battery in. I'm going to take this handle, slide it in. Snug fit, but once you get those that first thread started, the rest of it's super easy, man. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Before I put the handle on, you probably want to see the crystal chamber. That's the coolest. That's one of the coolest parts. So, activation. I got you a red kind of flicker blade over here. Your LEDs are working like they should, but I got your crystal doing this. Thought it was cool. And then we can just twist off just like that. So crystals working perfectly on all the sound fonts I put on here. I made the crystal do that. So that animation and that color, I just really like that. I got this from, I got that blade style from Joe Hernandez over at dark side custom sabers. Um, it was originally for my fallen order saber. And, um, I just like putting it on, um, any crystal chamber I can. <laughs> so that's what you got. Uh, of course, you know, you can program this any way you want, but um, before it leaves me, I get to do what I want with it. So um, 
Now that we've already seen it without a blade, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick a blade in it real quick. Your blade retention screw is right here. Um, it's a small guy because uh, I didn't want it protruding out uh, at all. Even when it's out of the blade socket, I did not want it coming out of here. So it wouldn't be an eyesore. So I put a, a small 8 32nd grub screw in there. So we'll just put this 7 8 blade in, make sure it's engaged on all the pins, tighten down the set screw, and then you could swing on as well if you want. Nice smooth swing. Flash on flash. Auxiliary. Twist off, just like that. So you just tap the auxiliary to switch sound fonts. We can use it. You can use the button, the activation to turn it on if you want. You can use it again, just tap it to turn it off. But this is so much more fun. All right. It just sounds good. Nice and loud. Gotta be kind of like a fire blade here. Oops. <laughs> and we twist off. Now we're into the stock fonts. Now I think with the stock fonts, what I did, we'll twist this off and take the handle off. I think with the stock fonts, I didn't mess with the crystal chamber. So um, anything on your stock fonts that your, uh, if the blade lights up a certain color or has a certain animation, you're gonna find that in your crystal as well. So I don't mess with those by default. Partly so you can see what happens if, it, if everything is the same and then partly because I kind of focus on, on the other stuff. So you have a little bit of variety, right? So see you got that teal blade and now you got a teal crystal chamber. Blue. Fire blade, fire chamber. Solid red. It's gonna cycle through. Purple, purple. I think this is a rainbow one. Yeah. Rainbow chamber. Rainbow blade. Now we're back to the beginning. And that's where you start having your crystal do something like that. And we'll twist off. And then we'll just take this blade out. So that, that's pretty much the functionality of your saber. Um, everything I wanted to point out to you. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, this is shipping overseas, so it won't come with a battery. You'll need to get a battery. This is an 18650, uh, 3000 milliamp. Uh, and it's PCB protected. So this, uh, this one's a key power. I don't know what you guys get over there, but the important thing is it's PCB protected and it's at least 3000 milliamps to run this NeoPixel Saber. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, this is going out in the mail tomorrow. Thanks.